So I have a little quiz for you and it's about chirality and hopefully you'll find it a little bit exciting. The quiz is very simply, is this object chiral? I, is the object not identical to its reflection? So here is its reflection. And hopefully you can easily see that the object and its reflection are actually identical and that means that they're achiral. And the reason that these gloves are achiral is because they're damn cheap. They cost me one euro. If you think about it, it's going to be cheaper for the manufacturer to only have to make one type of glove and sell it as a pair than have to make two different objects and then sell it as a pair of gloves. For example, moving to our slightly upmarket two euro gloves, we have here another object. And again, Keep asking yourself the same question. Is this object identical to its reflection or is it not? So here's the object and here is its reflection. So by virtue of the fact that this thumb is fitted, the glove actually becomes chiral. If this thumb was not fitted, then you would have an achiral glove. So what is the really exciting bit here? Okay, really is an overstatement. Reasonably exciting. Definitely exciting within the range of excitement you could possibly have in the domain of chirality. You can have an achiral object interacting with one enantiomer, for example your right hand, just as well as it does with the other enantiomer. I think that when you look at it with the glove example it's like yeah okay I get that but how the hell does it happen at a molecular scale? And I'm just gonna leave it at that.